was a pretty soggy day, but we had a gorgeous bright end to it. Lance Kirkland emailed us a photo of a rainbow he saw just over I-64, just a gorgeous evening and possibly a double rainbow sent to us over Facebook. We have the one dominant rainbow and just above that one, maybe a little hint of a double rainbow. So a gorgeous end to a very soggy day. Conditions are drying out. We still have a couple of sprinkles left over in extreme southeastern Kentucky in Pike County, uh, but it has really been active over the past several hours. We even have that severe thunderstorm warning, but mainly just some heavy rainfall, moderate rainfall at times as well and a lot of lightning and gusty winds associated with this this is a look at vipers rainfall estimates over the past 24 hours so you can see some of those spots received a little bit heavier rainfall almost four inches picked up now again this is vipers estimates and the downtown metro area not seeing a lot of rainfall based on viper but we did at least see a little bit of that rainfall earlier today's rainfall totals almost three quarters of an inch for lexington just over a quarter of an inch for jackson and same story for London, Louisville really picked up a lot over one inch worth in Louisville for today. Over the past 48 hours, though, very generous rainfall totals. Now, keep in mind, these are the official reports. We've had unofficial reports like in Sadieville picking up 2.4 inches just today. So a lot of rainfall to go around almost an inch and a half over the past two days in Jackson and over an inch in Lexington and almost an inch worth in London today. And even though we had the rainfall in the cloud cover, it was still a very warm, sticky day. We made it up to 88 degrees in Lexington, 84 for Jackson and 83 degrees for London today. We've calmed down a little bit. It's still very sticky outside. Dew points right now at the 70 degree mark, relative humidity at 96% and we are sitting at 71 degrees. Those winds are currently calm across the downtown metro area. We are also dry. 71 here in Lexington, 71 in Jackson as well. Upper 60s for both Corbin and London at 69 degrees. The winds are currently light, generally out of the southeast, helping pump in that tropical Gulf moisture. We do have a little bit of fog thanks to those winds dying down, a couple breaks in the clouds. Visibility is being reduced to two miles in Jackson, nine miles in London. So not too terrible, but just keep that in mind as we head into the overnight hours. We're only going to bottom out until around the low 70s today and it is going to be a tad warmer tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 80s with a couple more breaks in the sunshine. We've got just that tropical moisture that's going to continue to be pumping in over the next several days, just rotating around. We had that today. We're going to continue that as we head into our uh, Sunday and Monday as well with another chance for afternoon showers. We'll stay dry into the overnight hours, only a chance for an isolated storm. Then boom, tomorrow afternoon, we have even more scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms. I think it'll be less covered than we had today, but we'll have to keep an eye on that and not a washout of a day. Same story for Monday. We'll dry out Monday morning and then Monday afternoon, bring back another chance for a couple of those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Again, the severe threat remaining low, not non-existent like we had today. We had that one severe thunderstorm warning in southeastern Kentucky. The main concern with all of this locally heavy rainfall that could produce some flooding concerns. Patchy fog tonight as we drop off to 71 degrees, a, few, a chance for a couple of isolated showers across the bluegrass in eastern Kentucky and a high of 85 degrees for our Sunday afternoon with off and on showers, a couple peaks in the clouds and we'll see some of that sunshine. Locally heavy rain though, we'll have to keep a close eye on some flooding concerns. We'll still stair step it up back to near 90 degrees. Wednesday looks to be fairly uncomfortable. Humid, the humidity and that tropical moisture air mass on top of us is not going to go anywhere, but at least it's giving us this much needed rainfall across the state. All right, so get ready for the rain. Yes, we're going to have to keep the umbrella around, but we need yes. it, so it's okay. Yes, well, thank you very much. You're Lauren. welcome.